The boundaries of quantum science have been pushed in the last hundred years, and very successfully so. Qubits went from something theoretical to something that works and is routinely made in labs all over the world. At the same time, there is a long way from here to having the universal quantum computer. To build a universal quantum computer, you may need to discover new physics, maybe not, but with certainty, careful engineering and attention to detail will be necessary. This is something that QDevil can provide. QDevil is a quantum technology company located in Copenhagen, Denmark, but our purpose is to accelerate quantum science worldwide. There's a big bottleneck in this research. Scientists not only have to do the research, but they also spend a large amount of their time actually getting the experimental setup to work. We think we can actually accelerate quantum computing research by providing things like sample holders, voltage sources, all kinds of engineering which is needed to get the experiment to work and to be of high quality. I am trained as an experimental quantum physicist. I did a PhD in quantum electronics. I spent a lot of my time for my bachelor studies to my PhD at the quantum labs. I have a background um, from uh, quantum electronics. I did my thesis and PhD in uh, experimental superconductivity. QDevil is special in the way that it is bootstrapped by two physicists. The establishment of the Center of Quantum Devices at the University of Copenhagen meant that we had to scale up a state-of-the-art, low-temperature quantum laboratory. We sat together and thought about all the little tricks and solutions that we had invented. Ferdinand developed the Q-filter. He got a lot of requests from other research groups. We discussed it and I said, well, we could also try to develop it into a real product and, and uh, start selling it. So that was actually the beginning of, of QDevil. For QDevil, the University of Copenhagen tells us whether the instruments that we are providing are actually working. If our products are not good enough for state-of-the-art labs at the Niels Bohr Institute, we don't consider them ready for the customers. There are so many details needed to get experimental physics to work. And that's why we think the devil is in the detail. The nightmare for each scientist is to measure and publish artifacts. A fingerprint left on a circuit board, a soldering joint turning superconducting at low temperatures. Part of what our product is, is saving you the frustrations and the wasted time in providing you a product that actually has been proven to work. We can help them in doing their work faster but also maybe make them do even better experiments because we have spent a lot of time perfecting and developing uh, the tools that they can use for their research. Typically we start out by discussing with clients about their actual needs and my job as a physicist is to translate the needs from the scientists to something that we can build internally with our expert. Our newest product, the QCage system, is a situation where we start in the very basics of the PCB material and build it up from there from the internals to utilize the maximum capabilities of the materials. And we start simulating on small bits and pieces of the prototypes and later combine it to a larger system and simulate the overall uh, capabilities of it before we then make a working prototype and send it to a potential customer. We strive at doing the best we can to have satisfied customers. If customers get into trouble with our equipment, uh, we really try to understand what the problem is so we can help them quickly. And we typically arrange a video chat, preferably with the customer in the lab, so that we can uh, fix the problem on the spot. So I understand that you have some noise issues. Have you heard about our Q-filter before? I'm at Forschungszentrum Jülich in Germany. I set up my first uh, lab, the first cryostat, and instead of making everything by myself, I could just order the package, install everything, and from day one on, we can measure very sensitive signals and we can focus on the actual science. During the ordering process, I frequently talked to Anders and to his colleagues. They really made sure and asked again if anything is changing, so uh, once the stuff arrived, it was really just plug and play. They all have a scientific background. They all work in the lab, they're all scientists. And they know what quality is needed to get really good results. 
I really enjoy working at QDevil and with my colleagues uh, because of the level of skill we have in the company. We have new products coming up that uh, I can't tell you about uh, yet, but we are going to make some really advanced stuff. The future of quantum science is to a very large part unknown. Every day we face new challenges that come along with a fast-moving technology like quantum technology. QDevil's spirit is to engage with the unknown.